how to create a drop down field in a form using Elementor like this. It's actually really simple and it's a built in feature of Elementor. I've created two examples. The first one here is made with Elementor Pro and the other one is made with Elementor Free. And by the way, I've also have another video about how to create a drop down button like this. If you want to learn how to do that, click on the video in the right corner now or wait until the end screen of this video. Let's begin the tutorial step by step. Make sure that you watch all the steps so that you don't miss anything. We're now in a blank Elemental page. Let's start by searching for the Elemental form widget and drag and drop it in. I'll change the first form label to say how many and update the column width. Now make sure you switch the type to select. You can now place your options into this box. Each option should be on its own line. You can do the same for the next form field and then style your form as you wish. If you don't have Elemental Pro, there is a workaround. To do this, click on lifeonablock.com forward slash drop down dash form. You can now find the link in the description of this video, then click on get widget and download the zip file. After that, go to WordPress plugins and update the file. Click and install and activate. Go to the settings on the right in the control panel of the plugin and let's build the form. I'll remove this portion of the default code and then I'm going to click on the drop down menu and place your form name in and now add your options and then insert the tag. You can now copy the first line of code like this and then paste it in over here. This will add a label to your drop down. I'll change the label to say which color and then don't forget to close the label tag like this in the code. Save your form and you'll get a short code over here. You can copy this and this needs to be inserted into your Elementor page. From the Elementor page, search for the short code widget, insert the short code over here, and then the form works. Done. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, then take a look at the related video where I show you how to add a drop down to a button in Elementor. Additionally, if you're having trouble styling this form, it needs to be done in Elemental Global Settings under Form. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.